My dad had a big brother. I mean a big brother. My uncle Sonny in his prime was easily six foot five and he walked around with a 280 pound strong frame. He literally ripped the door off a car once trying to get at a criminal. My dad learned quickly not to tangle with big bro. But as a kid, dad had a 300 pound mouth and a six foot six attitude. And this constantly drug my uncle into numerous battles at the local hangouts. My dad would stir things up and sick Sonny on these poor fools, his own personal terminator. Well, even though it wasn't right, I loved hearing all those stories when I was a kid. Well, in Exodus 23, the Lord is, st is still establishing his people Israel. He gives them laws promoting justice and other civil conduct, ceremonial laws as well as feasts to observe. But the chapter ends with a promise that I want to focus on. Beginning in verse 20, God's promise to send an angel before them while they journeyed through the wilderness. And he would do this to guard them on the way and to bring them to the place that he had prepared. Unlike my dad stirring up problems for my uncle, the Israelites had problems of their own, problems simply waiting for them along the way. Verse 23 says the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, all pagan people would be waiting for them, waiting to oppose them. But this angel of God would run guard and it says, cut them off. Oh yeah, this is no mere angel. He is way bigger and way stronger than a six foot five, 300 pound big brother. And he could stir the fear of God into any bad guy. The people were to obey his voice for he had God's name in him. Knowing your angel has this kind of authority, this was God himself making Israel's enemies his enemies. God himself making their problems his problems. And he goes on to say that if his people would serve the Lord their God, he would bless and provide them with all of their needs. He also tells them in verse 27 that I will send my terror before you, and I will throw into confusion all the people against whom you shall come. And he says that he will give them a promised land. What an amazing God. Church, our Lord and Savior is doing the very same thing for us. He never leaves us, has fought our sin battle for us upon the cross, and he goes out before us when we abide in him. He promises to make our joy full. Know this, Christian. No matter what awaits you along the way in this journey, the Lord will protect you. No matter what enemy you face, if you are in Christ, your enemy is his. No worryites, no depressionites, no selfishites or sinonites are going to overtake you. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.